Hey guys, today we're gonna to start a whole new series of videos and we're going to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take different exercises and we're going to not only show you how those exercises should be done, but we're gonna explain when to use them, why you would use them, what correction you're, you're, you're actually um, doing with the lift by using this exercise. So we're gonna like teach you guys a little bit more in depth about each of the exercises. Today we're gonna to start with the three position clean and the three position snatch. Really the reason why I wanna show this first is because a lot of people, even advanced people, matter of fact, here's what triggered me wanting to do this. Jordan Cantrell, a world team member, sent me his videos today of him performing the three position snatch. And here is an elite world-class athlete who's not doing it correctly. So um, I guess I just called out my own lifter, Jordan, but um, he'll be laughing right now. But really what I wanna do is teach you guys how to do it properly, you know, position one, position two, position three. And then I'm also gonna teach you why we do the three position uh, snatches, three position cleans. Really, it's for people to dial in those positions, make sure that the body is in, in the proper position, the movement is proper, and that way when you're doing it from the floor and doing the full movement, you have more of a chance of the body being in the right position at the right moment. So the lift you know, ends up being perfect because each pull, the first pull sets up the second pull, second pull sets up the most important third pull. So knowing those positions gives you a better chance of making those pulls correctly. So the main thing I want you guys to get are just the positions that you should be in, you know, the correct positions. Um, okay, there's a little music playing, you'll see me being funny. But the position one is just a vertical spine, you just really bend the knees, elbows are turned out, shoulders are down, you're just going to extend up and go under. Um, position two is at or slightly below the knees. And you're just going to push with the legs, staying over the bar, extending up and go under. And then position three is from the floor. It's just the full movement. And the goal is that I would do that with lighter weight, a little bit slower, making sure that you hit position two and position one, you know, as you're finishing the movement. And then the clean is really the exact same thing. You're just your hands are closer. You know, you're going to start with the power position, which is a vertical spine, simply bent knees. I think the big mistake that people make is in position one, they want to uh, have more of a horizontal torso. And that's just going to push the bar out. But, you know, the one position that we can't argue about is the power position. We're all going to end with the vertical torso. Thanks. So why would a coach, you know, recommend an athlete do this? The three position snatch, three position clean. Well, we do it when we find our athletes, you know, missing those positions. Now, there are three important pulls when you're doing you know, the Olympic list. There's the first pull, which is you know, the pull from the ground where the legs are you know, pushing into the ground and the shoulders are staying over the bar. Position two is when you, know, when you go into the shoulders getting you know, over the bar and the torso becoming vertical, moving into what we call position one or the power position. And then uh, the extension, that's all the second pull and then the third pull the most important is the pull under well if you're out of position during any point of these pulls then you know the the pull after it is going to be messed up so if uh, you know if you're not as you see morgan in the position two you know his shoulders are still above the hips you know his back is still neutral he's still looking straight ahead his arms are not engaged his elbows are out so if you really want to work on those things, you have to slow it down. You have to, you can't, it's hard to work on an athlete being out of position, you know, when you're constantly like doing full speed lifts. So you break it down just like you would in basketball. You know, if you want to, you know, work on your jump shot, you know, there are certain things that you would do in basketball. Same thing with weightlifting. You just got to slow things down, you know, remind an athlete where they should be in the power position, where they should be. You know, in that position two during the first pull, and um, and then off the ground, you know, you want to make sure that they are hitting those positions. So it's just a great way of going back to the beginning and and getting things right. So I hope this helps. You know, um, if you're a coach, always want you always want to know why you're doing the things that you're doing. So this uh, 
Hopefully this video will tell you why, when and why you should use the three position snatch and the three position clean. You know, even for our most advanced lifters, we, we continually go back to the basics. Once again, just like a good basketball coach, you know, we always are perfecting the basics. The basics are always going to make, you know, the good athletes great and the great athletes unbelievable. I hope this helps. Thanks. All of this practice leads to athletes doing big things on the platform. So for viewing pleasure, I'm going to include Mad Lifts Morgans. Two PRs that he set at the AO3 is 125 kilo snatch and his 170 kilo clean jerk, which is also an American record. So uh, enjoy it. You'll see uh, all the little work pays off. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah, get back! Get vertical! Hey guys, now do me a favor, go subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment. I promise you if you comment, I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.